recorder, start record. Okay, Didi, I have uh, I have the camera that shows the I have the camera that shows the screen capture, and you can see from there uh, I have a camera there, and then I have a camera there, and then I have a camera there, and then I have a camera there. How do I point to it? It's right. It's right there. And then I have a camera uh, right here, and then I have a camera over there. So that's that's Adam over there. And then I have two more cameras that I haven't set up yet. Uh, one of them is just my phone as a, as an IP camera that I can carry around and show off anything around the house. And the other one is going to be outside, so we can spray paint and stuff outside, and you can and you can see it. That is that is why I have. I have tried Facebook Live, uh, Linda Ray. It's uh, it's really a hassle to set that up, uh, and and they have issues with me playing music. Uh, they they have issues with me playing the music. So I have tried I have tried Facebook Live. I've tried YouTube Live. Uh, again, one, the minute I start playing the music, it, it's it's live instantaneously, and when that happens, YouTube says, okay, well you can't show this in the UK because you played music in the background, and I can't. Like with Ustream, I, can, I don't have to start recording until I turn the until I turn the uh, the music off, and then I don't have to I don't have to worry about the music being recorded to Ustream and being and being recorded to YouTube. And I like to start the show with music. And honestly, it's another issue for the rest of the show because I like to have. Where are you going? I gotta blow my nose. Oh, I have allergies. What in Texas? Exactly. It's crazy They're talk. Awful. So uh, honestly, it's another problem I have. With the show is because some of the stuff I want to do is I want to do more art stuff that's not in an art journal, but it's going to take longer to do. Like I want to I want to paint live for you guys, but in order for me to paint live for you guys, I have to be able to play the music. And if I can't play the music, I don't know what I'm going to do. And and if I take that video and I put it on YouTube at regular speed, I've got to I've got to edit the video, I've got to edit the sound out, and I've got to put something else on it. And so. Um, we gotta figure. I'll have to figure something else out. I have to figure out what, how how to get around that. I've got some feelers out to some uh, local bands um, to see if any of them have. Any, um, um, um. I have some feelers out to some local bands to see if any of them have uh, original music uh, CDs, and if I can buy the CD and then pay them a hundred dollars to for a license to use their music unlimited on my. YouTube channel and in promotion of my YouTube channel on the condition that it always links back to their website for sales. You know, maybe I can find some local bands that'll do that. Maybe two hundred bucks. You know, maybe whatever we have to come to terms for. But the idea is, is that it's original music, and then YouTube can't say, "Well, you don't have the rights to that music. We can't play you in the UK." Aha! I do have the rights to the music. So, bugger off. Um, where are we? Take your headphones off. Da, 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 da. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of The Artistic Biker Live from Houston, America. That's right, we're in Houston, America. We're down here in God's country. We're going to build us a wall on the north edge of Texas across the Red River. We're going to make sure all them Yankee Redbacks don't come down here. Oh, that's that's bad. I probably shouldn't say that. Because we like Didi. Didi, you can come to Texas. You're supposed to sip that. You're supposed to sip this. <laughs> anyway, so... The... Figuring out how we're going to broadcast, figuring out how we're going to, how we're going to do. They do. They mute. They they mute the sound. They mute the whole sound on the on the recording. We're in the. Uh, if, for those of you watching on YouTube, uh, we do this live every Thursday night in the, on the UStream channel, and you can you can find the quickest way I know to find is go to artisticbiker.com slash UStream. That's the letter U stream, and then uh, what was I saying? I was answering a question. Yeah, so you, uh, YouTube, you, you put your recording out there, and they just say, well, you can't have that, and they'll just mute it. Copyright violation, and they'll just mute the whole video. And so um, it's an issue. It, it's, a, it's an actual issue for me. So uh, the organization trying to figure out where we're going to, how we're going to broadcast, where we're going to broadcast, what, what, how we're going to do it. If we're going to broadcast, I mean, if nobody watches the live show, I've got some really cool people in here tonight. I've got Linda Ray and I've got Dee Dee. My mom's supposed to call, and she'll be able to speak live to us if she ever 
catches her text messages. And, I don't know, she, who knows? <laughs> who knows what she's doing? She's crazy. Uh, I love my mother, but she's crazy. I love her too. She's probably watching. Probably. probably trying to figure out how to make the the electronics work <laughs> properly. Just push this button like this, and it dials. She's gonna beat me. She's gonna. Beat me. <laughs> <laughs> so, organization is kind of the kind of the thing that's stopping us. Uh, slow, they're slowing us down a little bit. So, it's kind of I'm kind of calling that sabotage. I think that's I think that's a little bit of self sabotage, and I think a lot of people. I think a lot of people do a little self sabotage, don't they? I mean, you, you're trying. You've got these big plans of what you want to do. Well, like last week when we said um, I was on vacation, staycation, and I had all these big plans, but you know, none of them got done because I was busy sleeping all the time, or we found all kinds of other things to do. Anything, anything besides what we planned to do. So we kind of, we kind of sabotaged ourselves. Who did you talk to last week, Linda Ray? Linda Ray's in the chat room saying I talked with her. Last- oh, you talked with my mother last week. I love my mother. I, me and her, we go way back. Let me get the intro to the YouTube video done here, and uh, we'll talk. We'll talk more about uh, organization and sabotage on the other side. I don't know why I do this. I don't make the little short videos anymore. I've been thinking about. Hey, before we do this, you guys in the chat, but let let me know what you think about this, and on and on the YouTube channel. I don't think I want to make the little short videos for YouTube anymore. I think I want to put the little short videos on Facebook. So, But we'll see what Facebook says about it. Because when I play the guitar and I sing on Facebook, sometimes they come back and say, Hey, we think that's, uh, we think that's uh, Led Zeppelin. <laughs> You'd be terribly wrong. That was Carmen Chameleon. That's nothing like Zeppelin. But uh, I'm thinking about putting the little videos on on Facebook and putting the longies on uh, only on YouTube. Let me know what you think about that. Your mom? Oh, you talked with my mom. Yeah. <laughs> Dollar in the jar. <laughs> Hello, peoples. Hi, welcome to this week's episode of the Artistic Biker. Last time on the Artistic Biker, we'd had a staycation, and we we wrote out all of our plans. And you can just barely see back here in the back. It says staycation goals and we wrote out all the goals that we had for the staycation and then on top of that we just put the reality of what really happened is you know staycation reality was just me so that's what that's what we did last week this week we want to talk a little bit about uh, organization sabotage and maybe an intervention so with that let's just turn the page and get started so yeah I think I think people do that to themselves. I think I think people in general do that to themselves. Shoot themselves in the foot anytime there's anytime there's change or effort required. You know, it's kind of like when you get invited to go out to a party, and at the time you're like, "Yeah, that sounds like fun," but when it comes time for the party and you realize you've got to put clothes on and go out and interact with real people. You know, at that point, you're like, okay, I'm, I'm questioning my life's decisions, my, my life's choices. You know, it, it's like that with, with everything else. You just kind of, yeah, yeah, that sounds like a really good idea. And the next thing you know, it's kind, it's time to do it. And, oh, well. That's a terrible idea. That's a, that was a terrible idea. I, I'm sorry. I made plan. I know we made plans to go out, but uh, that was an hour ago when I was young. And, feel, and, and, and I didn't have pants on. And I didn't have pants on. Once I put pants on, this whole thing just went to the crap. That, that may just be me. <laughs> no, pants, pants are stupid. I can't be the only person in the world to hate. Well, I know I'm not the only person in the world to hate pants because my son-in-law over here, uh, uh, this I never wear pants. sexy boy, girl, girl, girl one sexy boy toy. He does, he doesn't like pants either because pants are stupid. I don't know. I thought about wearing a kilt. We have a dress coat at work, though. I can't get away with wearing a kilt at work. Especially if I try to wear it the traditional Scottish way. With no underwear underneath. Ring ding diddle little light, yo. Ring diddle yo. Oh, lad, I don't know where you've been, but I see you. One first phrase. You're just going to have to look that song up. I'm not. 
<laughs> I must say, I'm too young for that one. <laughs> Poor lad, I don't know where you've been, but I see you won first prize. All right. The Scotsman. That's the name of that the name of that song is The Scotsman. And the problem is, is that once you get it in your head, you find yourself hours later, laying in bed, middle of the night, staring at the ceiling. All right, let me dry this. We'll take a little break. We'll be right back. Ah! Okay, you know, we don't really go anywhere. We just say that for the YouTube. you do with your sketchbook? I don't know either. I set it down. Here's I don't know I did. Is this the clipboard you use? Is it that is it right there on top of the hand me that pad of, that pad of papers anyway. My goodness, I found it. You I, found mine? I found yours. Woo! Set this back over there. Okay. Set this back over there. This is yours. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey. But I need you to tell me what to draw because I don't know. Draw a cat. A cat? A cat. Oh, Lord. Pull it up on your phone. Draw a cat. Okay. Usually, anybody, anytime anybody comes in the studio for the first time, they have to draw a cat. You drew a helicopter the first time. I did. It's PJ's count. See, but PJ's aren't pants. No. All right. Let me show you this really cool thing. Christmas a few years ago. And this is one of the few gifts that my mom and they saw me get giddy about. I'm kind of a dork for this kind of stuff. Look at this thing. This is a all right, for, all right, can you guys guess what this is? Does anybody know? Some of you have been here long enough that you may actually know what this is. Does, any, but if, does anybody know what this is? You want to take a guess at what this is? Hey, hey, hey. Inky Will said draw a cat. <laughs> I'm drawing a cat. And she's, she's drawing a cat. She, <laughs> does, does anybody know what this is? You want to take a guess at what this is? It's like a hole puncher to me. It's kind of like a hole puncher, but it makes a special kind of hole punch. Let me show you what it does. Let me just show you what it does. So you've got these used cards that you can't... Is it a guitar pick? That you can't, that's right. You can't do anything because it says pick... Pick, pick punch right there on the front. You can't do anything else with this with this card because it's expired and you can't reload it. So you, you can take that card and you can take it and you can make a guitar pick out of it. And then you can take your you can take it. And it's even got a sandpaper sandpaper block on the bottom of it to smooth it out. I love this thing. I made so many I made so many custom picks it was ridiculous. And I was making them uh, from the the gift cards to have like the holiday stuff on them. The, the hotel room stuff and the, the Regal Crown Club, those things aren't as exciting, but the, the, uh, the gift cards that have this, the winter scenes and stuff like that, those are, those are really fun to do. And the grocery store ones, and I'm going to do my Mensa card. Yeah, this one's expired, so I can cut it up. Um, anyway, <laughs> I showed you that because I'm going to use one of these cards that I've already punched to, to spread some paint around with here in a second. <laughs> Isn't that fun? That's fun. Okay, so that that kind of goes to the organization. That thing's been missing for months. I when I found I found it several weeks ago. <laughs> You're supposed to sit that. <laughs> I found that several weeks ago, and then and then promptly lost it again. So uh, that kind of goes to the organization thing. And the, the being the being disorganized and the and the not the not knowing where you want to go and what you want to do, I mean it just it just causes you to not want to art. I mean I come out here and the art bench is not set up the way I want the art bench set up, and I and I sit here and I think well I should I should set the art bench up right, 
and then by the time I get to a point where the art bench is set up right it's it's too late to art and I know that sounds crazy to some of you too late to art but when you have a day job sometimes being too late to art happens so I like, I like these real simple backgrounds like this What do you think? you think that'll work as a background? I think that'll do. That'll do, pig. I'm gonna scrape off the excess paint so it'll dry faster, though. If I can find my paper towel. If I'm organized enough to find my paper towel. If you do this in one color, you can keep the paint. If you do this in two colors, you can keep the paint if you don't mind that shade of paint. The most important thing with this, though, is not to overmix it. So, we're done with that. Set that aside to dry. Set that card aside to dry, rather. Where'd my paper towels go? Why are my paper towels way over there? Because I'm disorganized. I'm not like Didi. I, I don't like. I don't mean to make fun of Didi, but I, I kind of go back to Didi all the time. You watch Didi's show. Didi has a Ustream Inkwell. Has a has a Ustream where she's like, today we're going to use my blue paper, and she pulls out this drawer and it's got everything every everything blue in it that she owns, and. And today we're going to use these pins. And she pulls out the drawer and all of her pins are there in a neat little row. We watched her show. My daughter and I watched her show one time. We were driving down the road and I pulled it up on the... I pulled it... Well, I pulled over at a gas station. And I pulled Didi's show up on my phone. And I put my phone in the mountain so my, so my daughter could watch. And we watched... I think we watched for 20 minutes while Didi showed her pins and stuff. And, and my daughter's in the back seat going, She has Everything. Everything. <laughs> It was, it was great. It was great. Let me dry this real quick. We'll take a little break. We'll be right back. It should dry quickly. But it's scraped off like that. Hey, Boudreaux. I didn't see you sneak in. We, we're going to do an Australia. With Xandra and Janet meet, meeting up with Jen in Oz. Oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. That sounds like a lot of fun. She's taking she's meeting up with some other uh online people. Fair enough. Cool stuff. So, okay. This is how it started out. I was out here and I was trying to get organized. And then I realized that I was completely disorganized and it was very frustrating. And and when I when I realized that I was so when I realized I was so disorganized, I decided I was going to try and clean all this up, which you can tell did not happen. I was going to try and clean all this up. I was going to, I was going to put a, a a a place for everything and everything in its place and all that cool stuff. And so uh, I started buying um, I started buying uh, book bags and. I started getting, and it started off. I don't even remember which one it started with. Uh, uh, my beautiful young bride got me one a long time ago to keep to keep journals in and to work with out of this journal. And I thought, okay, well, I need something like this. And and so I started looking around for for things because if you don't have if you don't if you don't have it, your artwork your art materials organized and and at the ready, then it, you you'll find an excuse not to do the artwork. So the more convenient you can make it, the the easier it is, so I'm, the easier it is to start to start a habit, and so I'm looking for ways to get to get organized, and I'm looking for bags like like this one, where I can keep a sketch pad in it, and I can keep some I can keep some uh, uh, materials to, to sketch in, you know, a purse. That's exactly what I need. Is this, they didn't call this a purse; they called this a map case. But and look, it's got it's already got paint on it, so you know it's mine. Um, they didn't call this a purse. They called it a map case. 
and so uh, that means that means I can carry it because I'm a man. I, obviously, men can't carry purses, right? A nurse. No, 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 no. That's a made-up word. It's not. It's a male nurse. <laughs> it's a male nurse. I'm a nurse. You're a nurse. I'm a nurse. Does that mean people put things in you like pocket, like a pocket bag? They try. I have had someone poop in my pocket before. That, that's an awkward story. We're not going there. <laughs> so, is it a family show? We're, of course, we're drinking. Uh, you're supposed to sip that, by the way. <laughs> and I got, and I got, um, I started buying these organizational books. I, and, and, and honestly, we're getting to a point because this is, this is how this all started. This, where we're going with this is how this all started. This, this, uh, blogging made simple, fashion and process. And she's got this blog planner and she's got this momentum journal type thing. And then I, I had the moment, the, the momentum journal and I'm, I'm looking at this thing and I, and I bought a new, I bought another journal book that had very similar setup and I'm trying to, I'm trying to get into it and I want, I want it to all be pretty and I'm, and I'm looking at different stuff and, and I'm getting new books and I'm getting new bags and, and, uh, I start, I start getting into pens and this is where it all fell apart right here is where, is where it all fell apart because it started off, I was using the, my go-to pen, my, my Unibow Vision Elite pen and then I saw some videos on fountain pens well, fountain pens you say and so I bought a, a Pilot Metropolitan fountain pen well that one was a nice pen but it, there's no flexibility in the nib and, and I'm not sure how I feel about it it's kind of scratchy and so I bought a Picasso pen Right, and then today uh, I bought a Conklin. I bought a Conklin pen. Ooh, let me tell you how much fun it is to 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 draw with these suckers. Let me tell you, I gotta go. Yeah, Dee Dee, I'm gonna have to go to the. I'm gonna have to go to the um, Army Surplus store and get a get a bag. See if I can find a bag there. But let me tell you, I took my. I took my my uh, Pilot Metro pen to figure drawing uh, twice, and I need this out of the way, and I need this for later. And the second time I took, the second time I took it to figure drawing, it conked out on me. It, it started drawing. It ran out of ink, and and it and it and it wouldn't. It, it I couldn't do anything with it, and so uh, and I didn't have any way to refill it, and so that. That kind of frustrated me, but I've been drawing with it. I had been drawing with it solid for two weeks, and so uh, at the right after that is when my Picasso pen got here, and I was trying to draw with my Picasso pen, and it was a sketchy line that wouldn't it wouldn't make a nice, solid, smooth, flowing line. And I'm going to show you. It does make a nice, solid, smooth, flowing line. I figured out what was wrong, but not before I bought the Conklin. But. Now, if we got kicked off Ustream, that's when we would have got kicked off Ustream is right there. So the Pilot, the Pilot Metropolitan makes a nice line, but it's it's a scratchy, it's a scratchy feel. And right now it's it's a scratchy feel and it's it's not there's no I don't know if you can see that. There's no real uh, line variation. It's the same thickness everywhere you go. And then the the uh, Picasso has just a little bit of you can get just a little bit of line variation in there and that's really nice and then the one I bought today this is my baby this thing I can get all kinds of I can get all kinds of line variation out of it I love this thing. I love this thing. Goes from thin lines to thick line. This is an actual calligraphy pen. And it writes like butter. It's not scratchy feel. And it wouldn't be so bad, but my wife caught me out here on Amazon looking at other pens. Busted. Busted. So. Excuse me. Yes, ma'am. Why is there black paint in my boombox on this cup? They 
There's not, not any black paint in your in your cup. It that's poppycock. No. In? That's ice. What are you talking about? What's on the outside? No, it's not. Yeah, it I is. just touched it off. Dude, it's on the inside and the outside. There is paint up in my cup. It's not for me. I didn't paint with that here. I didn't use it. Somebody's dying. Yeah, no. It's, yeah, it wasn't it comes me. Off. It comes off. It was probably Ashley. Uh, See, it comes she's off. She's firewood. But it's not. Grounded. That's not me. I didn't see it. Did it come from? Oh, my God. It was sitting there when I reloaded my pen and shook it. I didn't bring it out here. He's you grounded. brought my cup out here? We'll return on Jerry Springer soon. I need witnesses. <laughs> Y'all. You can't help him. You're too far away. Yeah, but they can see you do it, and they can be witnesses. I'm just... I was in the room, and We're I live. didn't see We're nothing. We're experiencing technical difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to sip that. You're, you're in trouble. Now it wipes off. <laughs> Tell no. What? A, hey, K. Bert. What about jet pins? Let's talk about those. I'd like to hear your little story about jet pins, K. Bert. We just have to make sure that my wife doesn't know that you're telling me stories about jet pins. That's going to be vitally important. Jetpins.com. Yeah, she started at her new school. Uh, Dee Dee, she started at her new school last year. Uh, we went to a program. Uh, I don't remember why we went. I think it might have been Parent Teacher Day. But we went to a program for Junior. And somehow it came up that my wife was a, an art teacher at the time that they ha they were having serious issues with their art teacher. And they basically begged her to fill out the form. They reopened the application just just for her. And uh, she applied for the job and they gave her the job. And then she's been struggling ever since because the 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 school system down here she loves her classes. She loves her. She loves her job, but the school system down here considers art large group like it's PE or or uh, recess, and so they don't. They, she has like fifty kids in her classroom, but she loves her job. And this is really, considering that she started so late in her job last year, this is really her first year, her first full year teaching there. Hi, baby. Uh oh. What? Look out, everybody. It's Unique with Chantiel La Fontaine. You know, somebody should have told me I was on the wrong camera. There's Unique with Chantiel LaFontaine. Say hi, baby. Hi. You're supposed to go, hi, baby. Say hi, baby. Hi, baby. There you go. <laughs> can I, can I Dude, would you like to sit up here? Mm -hmm. So my yeah. mom was supposed to call. Let's ask Grandpa if it's okay if we take this off here. Yeah, that's fine. We're done with that. Okay. And I have a text message. Okay. Maybe I have a text message from my mom. Nope. Well, don't get pregnant. I do not have a text well, message from my mom. Piece of paper, okay? Sound good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, 
There was a pad. See that pad of paper that you took away from me? Yes, I do. I just need one sheet out of it. Yes. Here are some watercolors. The watercolors are right up over there somewhere. And you are free to use the watercolors. These things? No. No, this is tempura. This is acrylic. Um, there's, there should be like a... You've seen the, the like uh, Crayola watercolor kit that you used in elementary school. I didn't take art ever. No, no, you would have done it in any, in any elementary school class. I mean, this is this is like what we're talking about. She can use those. She'll be happy with those. Cheech me. Dip your water in there. She's got watercolors. And then she's got. I need to put your hair up. There you go. Hi, Dot. Hi, Pensacola Art. All right, let's see. We need what colors. Do we need? We need black. We need yellow. Yellow right here. Did you find some yellow? Yeah. All right. Right here. We need. We need some. I want to. I'm going to throw some blue and red on there just for. Just for. Because I'm crazy like that. And then we're going to need some white. I don't think we need as much white as I think we need, but we are going to need some white. And we'll start out with the big brushes. So yeah, my wife is not not happy with the fact that um, she's she's not happy at all with the fact that I all of a sudden have lots and lots and lots and lots of, of brushes. But baby, it came from the art supply budget. You mean the you mean the budget we you we set aside for paying off the credit cards? Oh, um, well, they're still on something. Draw with the different colors. Use all these colors. Look how many colors there are. Okay. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. Let's take some of that and let's add a little bit of that to it. A little bit of that to it. A little bit more of that to it. And let's make that do. What color are you need? No, she can talk all she wants to. This is not that kind of show. We're not teaching. Uh, if she's talking, then people are not distracted by the fact that I'm arting. <laughs> I'm arting too. You are arting. Hi. Whoa. Can I put me back on? Yes. Can you do that? I want to. Do we have to do blue? Blue? You can do whatever color you want to do, baby. Uh, I don't know how I get paint all over everything. Everything in the studio has, has paint on it. Everything I care about has paint on it. I don't know how that happens. I don't think I've ever seen you wear a, pa a pair of pants that don't have paint on them. Everything. All my good clothes have paint on them. That's what makes them my good clothes. You will hear me say that often. What are you working on over there, Ed? I'm drawing a cat. Are you still drawing a cat? Yes. I'm trying to make it perfect. This is my very first cat I've ever drawn in my entire life. Oh, and I'm I just so want proud. it to be great. I'm so don't let the perfection. I'm no, I'm pretty impressed with my cat so far. Whatever you do, don't let don't let perfection eat you up. Did you drop that in there? Mm-hmm. What's up, man? Why are we dropping stuff in there? You said there you go. 
You said I'm impressed with that cat. I am impressed. I was not one of those kids that ever took art. I was in band. I never took art. It was not an option with someone who took band. Right. So that's see, that's where girl two is. That's the that's the uh, major problem for girl two right now, is because she took band and music, she can't take art. I didn't get to take art. I didn't get to take Spanish. I didn't get to take all kinds of stuff, all kinds of block that everybody else got to take because I chose band instead. So. I was not taught the basic fundamentals of art. Neither one of my parents are artists. So... No, we can help you with that. It is what it is. We can... We can certainly help you with that. No! Move it! It's alright. It's alright, man. My grandbaby just said we're arting. You gotta love that. Don't let no one see us arting. Don't let anybody see us arting. Because it's special. Everybody wants to see us arting. But no. I have not, Didi, I haven't finished a journal in a long time. Uh, Dee Dee's asking me in the chat room if I have done a flip of my journal in a long time. Um, here in a little bit, here in a little bit, I'll dry this a little. I'll dry this some, and I'll, we can go through it. But I have not, I have not finished a journal in so long that I have not, um, I've not had any call to do a, a flip through of the journal. And that, you know, that goes back to the. The organization and the frustration and the the the, the married to perfection that that I was talking about a minute ago, you know, you let all that stuff get in your you let all that stuff get in your way, and then next thing you know, you can't get anything done because you're too busy trying to be perfect and nobody's perfect. And maybe it's just me. Let me know if let me know if you've experienced anything like that before. Maybe maybe it's just me. I may be the only one in the whole wide world that that suffers from that affliction. That I find myself making excuses. Well, I don't have my paintbrushes just just right, so I can't do that. I don't have the right kind of paper, so I can't do that. I don't have the right. And I didn't. I never used to be that way. I always used to be. Hey, we've got school grade pencils, and we have some. Uh, we have some high. We have some ch sidewalk chalk, and we have. You know that that was always kind of my thing. Can't talk. Party. I can't do anything. I'm harder than two. Um, where's my purple? I need purple. What color is purple? Um, I don't see a purple. I see a couple purples. Like a purple. Can't talk. I should save this part for the last little bit. I should not. Stop, get away. I should not be doing this part Stop right now.
her black sleeves remind you of somebody you watch on Mondays and Wednesdays? Who do you watch on Mondays and Wednesdays? Dee Dee. I'm noticing that Ustream did not, the Ustream bot did not catch the nudity a moment ago. So we may be, I don't know, we'll keep trying. I don't want to get kicked off of, of uh, Ustream, but at the same time I can't, I can't live, it's like a prison. I can't live with their rules. Um, that's not right. That's down here. That should have been down here. That is this color. I can't tell what that fill is like. Oh, hey, cool. I can see it in the in the uh, monitor. I can I can paint and see what I'm doing from the monitor. What are you doing over there, Adam? Still drawing a cat? Yes, sir. I'm not upsetting myself. Adam's first cat. I never get a cat. You could draw a cat if you want. I never get a cat. I never get a real one. Why? We're not getting a real cat. We got two dogs. I said no. But my friend said that a regular cat. You ain't got no friends. <laughs> You're four. You're four years old in Texas. You haven't been outside. Can I make that sound that you know what I'm making? If you, if you have friends, they're ghosts. Well, you know, it's a little smeared, but. I ain't even mad at myself. I think you're doing a fine job. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I have to show you the original picture that I looked at. Because it, I drew the head too big, so I couldn't draw the body. Yeah. So then I just improvised with the head and, like, the paw and some of the body. Yeah? Yeah. I realized that my cat's head was really big, so... Thank you, Didi. This is acrylic. I'm not saying you're never going to use acrylic, but I'm going to say that until somebody can actually just stop and watch what you're doing, we're going to keep acrylic away from you and your clothes. Don't you get mama smooth. <gasps> mama. I love it when mama's smooth. I love it when your mama's smooth. I love my mama. I love your mama. I love mine. I do love my mom. We can love your mom too. Love's one of the few things that the more you give, the more you have. Hey. Hey, baby. Are you mad at it? Look at this. Let me show you what I went off of. I was telling them I drew the head too big, so kind of went, went a little different. Don't let me paint it. I'm not mad. I had my own little thing on the tears, though. You like my picture, mommy? You like my picture, mommy? 
That's mine. But I'm not mad. I'm not mad at my cat. From what I was looking at, I just Googled cat drawing. That was the first thing that came up, so that's what I did. Adam's first cat. I'm not mad. No? There's glue all over me. All right, I have to draw this real quick. So we'll take a little break and we'll be right back. Kitty says it's a nice cat. Draw on camera, by the way. Thank you. I worked really hard. I've been telling him I'm going to get naked and he said don't see you. <laughs> Alright, let's do some detail work here. I may have to go get my other brush pen. I have to get my sticker. Okay. I'm going for the walk. Yay, walking. Walking's good for you. Walking is good for you. And she's gone. If I can get, you know what I can do for that fine line on the other side? <laughs> this may not, these things may not work too well on acrylic paint. I'm going to have to make a whole lot looser so it's not and then I've got to make sure there's no paint in it when I'm done there we go just subtle enough to, to be there but not Um, just enough to catch the eye like is I don't think this is going to come back with a little master's touch just a little bit of master's touch here and I'm just going to add some highlights and it may not be noticeable at all it may just be I may just be wasting my time but Highlights are just that. You don't want to overdo it. You don't want them. Because the more you do, the duller everything else gets. And this is supposed to be the brightest thing on the page. This makes things look shiny. Shiny! So yeah, it started with me wanting to get organized and, and buying some organization systems off the interwebs. And it ended up with me buying more stuff, a jackload of pens. Um, my brush to write stuff with is where? Uh, let's use this one. And let's 
see. I have paint on my fingers. Linda says, I love her swatches. Paula would be jealous. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. I don't know. What are we going to say? Pen addiction? Let's just say pen addiction. How do you spell addiction? Two Ds? A D D I C T I. O N Do you can't talk, Arting? I need a smaller brush. And that brush is cooling off, but it's kind of globular. Let's try this one. No, I don't want that color. No, I think I, I think I would like to add some. I think I would like to add a splash of color down here. Yeah, I like that. Maybe some. I don't want to mess it up. Real easy to mess it up. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Okay. All right, let's do away with that. Let's do away with that. Move back to this. And we'll just do this. Can't talk. Harding. Somebody got paint on the brush again. I don't know who it could have been. The only thing left to do to that is hit that with some gloss coat. So everybody put your masks on. It's very, it's very important. It's very important that you will cover that. Uh, your brushes and your lids and you want to make sure you wear a dress really nice so that you don't breathe the fumes because breathing the fumes are bad. Woo! It's really important. Don't breathe the fumes. That's important. Oh, good. 
So the important thing about the the uh, gloss coat, it's not gloss coat, it's just satin. I use a satin coat at the end. But it makes the uh, student grade acrylics appear wet so that they have the, they have the uh, uh, sheen that I want them to have. And so there's my, there's my pen addiction. Faker? What do you mean faker? I can't believe you would... Surely you don't, don't doubt. Surely you don't doubt that I would. I mean, are you accusing me of like covering my mouth to talk like this, Uncle Host? I mean, I wouldn't. Would I? Wait. Shh. I gave away. Don't tell my mom. <laughs> she thinks I wear a mask. At least he opened the doors. You know, I always fantasized about um, a lot of things, actually. Hang on. No, no. Back to the point. I always fantasize about uh, building a cabinet with a, a filter on the back of it and uh, being able to spray paint, making a spray paint hood where I could put stuff in the spray paint hood and I could spray paint and it would it would suck the fumes into the filter. I've, I've, and I may still do that. I have fantasies about doing that. If I do that, that's going to be why we have a, that'll be why we have a camera outside uh, when we get it set up, when we get a spot outside that I can spray paint without worrying about spray paint getting on people's cars. And uh, you know the the downside is is that I've got to be able to get to it quickly. You don't you don't need to sit here for ten minutes while I figure out how to get to the how I get to the spray paint. My mom never showed up to the show tonight, did she? And I have a text message. Maybe she's maybe she's telling me she can't make it because she's quilting or something. Let's see. Nope. No, nothing from my mama. She's a turkey. She's probably watching NCIS or something. She's she's addicted to that kind of programming. So eight o'clock. Thanks, Dot. So there we get there we have it. Pen addiction. You know this is this is what I need an intervention for. And my wife, you know, if my wife found out how much I spent on these pens, you know, she'd clobber me. But she loves me. She wouldn't kill me or anything. But she loves me. But I think this is my new favorite, and and the true the best thing about this pen, more than anything else, the best thing about this pen is that it's the only one I have that the lid screws on, so I can I can seal the lid in my pocket, and I don't have to worry about the ink leaking out into my pocket. So this thing, though, I got to tell you, look at it. Hi, baby. Hi. Tell me that book right there. The brown one. This one? Yes. Would you get a sucker? Mommy? Wish I had a sucker. I like suckers. Do you like suckers? Mm hmm. I like suckers. Mine that's fell on the ground and the ground outside. Is that right? Mm hmm. Okay. So this thing, <laughs> seriously, this thing writes beautifully and the, the, Ability to to change the to change the light the line weight just I just love the way this thing writes so well it, it just does a great job with the sketching so honestly I can't wait to take this to to figure drawing. Next week, and I'm going to do some. I'm going to do some uh, uh, gestures with it tonight. Uh, I try to do twenty, at least 20, 21 minute gestures a day. So I'll try to do some. I'll do some gestures with it tonight, and I'll play with it. And we'll see then if the ink is waterproof when I go back to when I go back to do the shading. But guys, this is it. This is uh, this is what we had planned for tonight. I thank you so much for joining me. I don't have a way to tell you thank you with my little overlay anymore. But thank you so much for joining me. You know I look forward to this every week. It's my favorite night of the week when I get to art with my besties. Uh, be sure and tune in next week. Same Artistic Biker time. Same Artistic Biker channel. And then we dance. And we dance until somebody says they see me dancing. 
And the reason we dance until somebody says they see me dancing is so that the lag catches up before I shut it off. That way we don't stop in the middle of a demonstration and make somebody miss something. And Dee Dee says it's great to see you arting again. Thank you, Dee Dee. It feels good to be arting again. Look, I can do the robot. And they say... Thanks so much, Blade, and glad I caught you, but nobody's telling me that they see me dancing. Dee Dee's saying night. Guys, you guys are mean. You just like to watch a fat guy dance. It's not funny. I know. It's, I'm going to fall over dead. Boudreaux says night, Dee Dee, and all. Dot says good night. Uh, paint fumes. Boudreaux says she sees me. Okay, bye. Peace out, everybody. Mwah. <laughs>